Hi, the N106. It's Martha again. We're moving into week three. Congratulations. You have officially completed your second week of DS106. And we are at a survivor count of 31. We started out with 36 in this class. We've dropped to 31. But I feel really good about the 31 that remain. I think we're going to see it to the very, very end. Um, but that's a big class, 31 people. And we'll be talking a little bit about this week about how we make sure we kind of connect with each other get to know each other, increase, increase our, our chances, our chances of, survival. of survival. This week, week three, we're going to be moving into writing. Um, that's kind of our first genre that we work with in DS-106. And to go along with that, we're going to be doing some reading as well, because I see those as this kind of two sides of a coin. You can't write well unless you read a lot. So we're going to be reading some stuff this week, but even as the semester progresses, I suspect there will be a occasional reading assignments of, of other things. Um, one note I want to make is about the archetype assignment. Um, by the last time I checked earlier today, I think about 12 or 13 people had completed it. Hopefully, I'm recording this Monday, so hopefully by Tuesday, um, everyone will have that done. It's really important. We're going to be referring back to those archetypes periodically, and they really just become sort of material, 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 material for you to use in the stories that you write. Um, so one of my goals with this class is kind of to build um, our familiarity with different um, materials that we can use um, as we're coming up with our own story so that when you get stuck, you're not sure how to do a media assignment. Maybe you take a look at the archetype list and you pick one of them as the character that you're going to write for or do another media assignment for. Um, I went ahead, I'm going to switch over to my computer. Under resources now, you will see that there is um, a link for those archetypes, and that just has an embed of the spreadsheet that we all have been creating together. So you can go in and see what everybody has added so far. Um, so that's just something to keep an eye on. Nothing really formal to do with that this coming week, but just keep plugging away at it. Um, so for the reading this week, uh, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to choose your novel. I had a great time reading those of you who had done it by today, your weekly posts and seeing what novels people had already read. And I, it's interesting, I already see certain novels have um, more than one person reading them. I think we have a couple reading I Am Legend, a couple reading Oryx and Crake, a couple reading The Stand, um, and a couple reading World War Z. So that's really great, and I'm going to be thinking about adding channels and Slack for different novels so that people can kind of coalesce and talk about them as you read them. So you're going to pick your novel. Now, once you pick your novel, you're going to have to get a copy of your novel. Um, there are a couple of ways you can do that. Obviously, you can go to the bookstore and see if you can buy a copy of it. Probably not on campus, but you could go to Barnes & Noble or Books A Million um, in Fredericksburg or the used bookstores downtown. Um, I, if you're the person who likes hard copy book, that's a great way to go. You could also order it off of Amazon. You can also order the Kindle version of it off of Amazon. You don't have to have a Kindle to read on the Kindle. There's a Kindle app for mobile phones, and there's also a Kindle app um, for desktop computers, and you can also read in the Kindle Cloud Reader on the web. So if you're comfortable reading digitally, that's one way to go, is to, to buy the Kindle version of it. But you are going to have to get a copy of your book. Another way to go is through if you belong to any public libraries and you can get to the library. Many public libraries now also have ebook collections that you can easily sign up for and then download using an app on your phone. I highly recommend that. I use that actually to do a lot of my reading. It works really well. Um, so you're going to be picking your novels. You're going to be reading two, at least two short stories this week from a list that I have created. I'm going to switch back to um, our website. And under resources, you'll see there's a link here now to something called <coughs> Stuff to Read. <coughs> Excuse me. Stuff to Read, Watch, and Hear. I'm just going to load that a second. So this is really a, a kind of brain dump list that I've been working on for weeks, um, putting together stuff for this class. We are not, you are not expected to read, watch, and listen to everything on this list, um, but I will be pulling from this list at various times for the semester. Um, some of what's in this articles and chapters list, for example, you've already looked at. Next is short stories. This is what we're doing this week. I'm going to ask you to pick at least two of these to read. Um, where, when possible, I have linked to an online version of it. If there is not an online version of it, I have uploaded that short story into Canvas for Mary Washington students. Um, so there's lots to choose from here. 
pick at least two of those um, to read. And then you are going to be doing, let me just jump back to um, our weekly post. Oops, that was archetypes. Um, you are going to be doing a reflection post um, on your short story readings um, when you're done. Um, so I, I list a couple of questions here. So something I just want to like reiterate in terms of questions when I put them up here, I'm not expecting you to answer every question. I don't want you to necessarily format your post around the questions. The questions are really just to get you thinking. Um, you're welcome to go in whatever direction makes sense for you. One thing I'm not looking for necessarily is a summary of the book um, or the story. You should certainly take a sentence or two to tell us what it's about, but it's not a book report or a story report. I'm really more interested in your thoughts about how the story is told. Whether you enjoyed it, yes, but how the story is told and what worked in how the story was told. So that's going to be our reading. Um, we're also going to do some writing assignments, as I said. Um, the first is uh, we're going to be working with the assignment bank more extensively this week. We're going to be using it the way that we'll probably use it for the rest of the semester, which is that I will assign, sometimes I'll assign a couple of required assignments from the assignment bank, and then I will assign a certain number of stars of additional assignments you need to do. So what you will do this week is two required assignments, one called in, write an alternative ending and one called products of the apocalypse. And then you need to do at least six additional stars of writing assignments. So you're gonna look in the assignment bank, every assignment has a star rating, and you're gonna pick at least six stars worth of writing assignments. You don't wanna pick from the other groupings at this point. Um, and I ask that you make at least three of those stars stars worth of work relate in some way to the apocalyptic, post-apocalyptic genre that we're working with here. But this is all in the blog post, um, so don't worry about having to take notes on this right now. You can just refer to the post. Please do refer also to the guide for writing blog posts that I introduced in week one. I see some people have definitely been referring to this and kind of taking the advice to heart, but I think some people may not have seen it yet, and it does contain some really important information. Um, about picking titles for your posts. I've seen a couple posts come in that don't have titles. Make sure you're titling your posts and you're picking strong titles. Make sure you link to anything that you can. Um, paragraphs, you're doing a pretty, actually everybody's doing a pretty good job with breaking up the wall of text, which I sometimes see. Um, and then embedding whenever you can. Um, for assignment posts, there's some advice here specifically for how to do assignment posts correctly. And for reflection posts, there's advice here as well, one of which is use media. Okay, the web is a visual medium. We, we you know, access it by looking at it. Um, and so including visual media in your posts, relating in some way to what you're writing is one way to kind of capture your reader's interest and draw them in. Um, and then there's also a guide here for weekly posts about what you want to do for your weekly posts. So make sure you are checking that and referring back to it. Um, <clears throat> hold on just a second. Sorry. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. Um, so we'll be doing writing. We're also going to be doing some daily creates <clears throat> this week. You're required to do Tuesdays, which will be another flash fiction, and then you just need to pick two more to do um, at some point during the week. We're working on WordPress site, organizing specifically our WordPress sites. Um, some of you have already started doing this, which is great. You're just kind of ahead of the game, so don't worry if, if you're already ahead. Um, and we'll also be continuing to participate. I really want to ask people to start reading each other's blog posts, coming, commenting on each other's blog posts. Participation in a class like this is really about building community, which is critical. For surviving the class until the very end of this semester. So think about ways in which you can help build our community. One of the things that I would recommend is that everybody on Slack make sure they have an avatar or a picture attached to their Slack. Um, with 31 people, it's really hard to keep track of everybody, and believe it or not, those little visual cues help a lot in helping people to figure out who's who. So make sure you have an avatar in Slack. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about building community and participation in the summary video for this week. That's basically it for this week. Um, 
couple other videos you'll find further down on the page. One about class planning. I want to talk a little bit about how that went this week and what I'm thinking. Um, and then I'll have a summary um, that you should look at as well. So good luck. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'll be on Slack as always. And I will uh, see you next week. Thanks, guys. <laughs>